Hi guys, welcome back to Night School for more AOE to build order tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at the Drush Fast Castle into Knights. Okay, so the first thing you do with this one then is the same as usual. Just make two houses with your starting villages, send them to sheep, and then all new villages will go to sheep until you've got a total of six on sheep. So, the Drush Fast Castle into Knights. As with any Drush, Drush Fast Castle, it's uh, quite an advanced uh, build order tutorial. It's quite tricky. Quite uh, a lot to do all at once. <laughs> so, if you're good at you know managing army and economy, then great. This should be absolutely fine for you. But if not, you're going to find it tricky. I find it tricky. Um, it's not certainly not one of my uh, stronger areas. Okay, so we've got six on sheep. So next four are going to go to wood and build a lumber camp. Um, so yeah, I mean the standard drush fast castle. Um, we do have a video on this. Is um, sort of goes into crossbowmen as opposed to knights. So I just thought I would create a video just to show you how to do a knight variation of the Drushfast castle. So again it can be quite an effective build order if you get it right and you're able to uh, manage your militia well and uh, cause as much of a distraction, cause as much of an annoyance as you can really because <laughs> that's the whole point of the drush it's not necessarily to kill villagers it's just to be an annoying a bit like a little annoying fly that just won't go away you know you just sort of hover around buzzing around keep you know just diving in there on a little attack um, okay so the next village that's come out is going to go to lure a boar so if you can kill a villager when you're uh, doing your drush with the militia, um, it's certainly certainly good that you can. Uh, but it's not necessarily the main aim. It's mainly just to distract your opponent, put them off, um, force them to make mistakes, get them to waste time in what they're doing, um, and stuff like that. So the next villager to come out is going to make uh, two houses near the berries and then the next three villagers that come out are going to go to the berries and make a uh, mill and that villager is making the houses is also going to go to the berries as well so give us four um, villagers on berries by the time they have finished once your food on the board gets down to about halfway um, you're going to want to think about taking one of your villagers and going to lure the second boar. So one of these existing ones, don't take the one who did the lure in, a, uh, in the first place because that one's weak and you'll probably die. <laughs> um, so just take one of the others. I mean, you see, I've just gone past the 115, it's starting to come down fairly quickly. I'd probably say I've left it a little bit too late to do it. So this next village that comes out is going to go to gold, collect 10 gold and come back to the town centre and then go to wood. And the next village to come out is going to come over here, make a barracks and uh, a house and then go back to the town centre and make a farm. So the next uh, villager to come out after that one is going to go to a straggler tree. Um, we're going to have four new villagers going to wood. So they're going to go on there until we've got enough wood to uh, make an actual lumber camp. And then we're going to relocate them to a wood line. So just make sure you keep scouting your map. Um, as you're doing a drush, you need to be able to know where the enemy resources are. We can tell the town centre's there because of the dead sheep. So we've just got to find the actual resources. So once that boar is finished, all of those uh, villages are just going to collect from the sheep. And there we go. So the next village will come out will be the fourth wood villager and that's just going to go straight over here to the uh, lumber camp. So I've got the militia on the way, so it's quite an important thing that I forgot to mention actually. <laughs> once your barracks is built, start making militia. You need just three of them. And then they can sort of uh, link up with your scout 
and uh, you'll have the scale and the three militia going on the attack. So the next uh, five villagers to come out after these two that are going to berries are going to be going to sheep. So two going to berries, we've just had one and then five going on to sheep after that. You can see that villagers now coming up to make the farm. And then pretty much after that it's just a case of with all these villagers, it's just a case of making farms as and when you've got 60 wood really. So I can make two at this point. Here we go. And then as I say the next villagers are just coming coming out to the sheep. That was a bit of an error there. I could have done going up to one of these other sheep that's already being collected. but. Uh, so you, that's pretty much all you'll be doing now for the rest of the build order. Just keep sending them to sheep, keep making farms whenever you get 60 um, wood. And then uh, get loom and then click up to the castle age. So we look back over here. We know where there's a uh, enemy wood line. We have been able to pick off one of the villagers. Now you'll find in, um, in a multiplayer game, they will um, the enemy will react differently to how the AI does. So the AI will just attack you with every single villager <laughs> in that vicinity. Um, you'll generally find that in multiplayer games players will uh, not attack you like that. They'll, they'll try and either block you off with some walls or they'll um, try and run away. It's very rare that you actually see people fighting in the villagers. Um, but at the same time if you do start fighting with the villi or if they do start fighting with the villagers, um, or if you're on the receiving end of it and you, you uh, are fighting with the villagers, um, generally the militia and the scouts will just sort of dart back and forth, sort of hit and run. So just being annoying, like I said, like that fly. So um, once the sheep have all finished and you've clicked up to the feudal age, you send four of the villagers over to mine gold and. Uh, just keep making farms until you've got a total of nine on farms and then you should be pretty much set to go ready for when uh, when the feudal age kicks in as you can see just keep just keep attacking where you can being annoying probably won't get as many kills when you're playing in a multiplayer game as this So again, just sort of hit and run. Just trying to be annoying. Look. And then the enemy's got some archers out. So, uh, I've taken three villages from wood and sent them over here because this is where I want my stables to be going. And the blacksmith. So as soon as we've hit feudal age, two villages are queued up to go to gold. These guys are going to make a blacksmith and a stable. And then once those are finished, we should be able to click up to the... Feudal Age, uh, Castle Age even. So these villages down here, what you're going to be doing is splitting those berry villages. It took me a while to <laughs> react to it, but they will go four over to gold, uh, sorry, two over to gold and four will make farms. Um, so you'll end up with a total of 13 farms eight uh, villages on gold and then those ones are just going to go back to the woods so not ideal because um, the distance they've had to walk to get there and to get back it's sort of cost me quite a bit of resources in terms of uh, you know lack of collecting really because they've been too busy walking around so that's a bit, of, a bit of an issue really from, from that. So it may have been better if I'd have placed a, a lumber camp there rather than um, having two on the back. So whilst you're advancing up to Castle Age, it's a good idea to start looking at researching uh, bloodlines like we are doing now. Potentially start getting uh, some of the blacksmith upgrades as well. Um, if you've got enough food for it. So at this point as well you want to be starting to make the second stable so that as soon as we get into the castle age we've got two stables that we can start producing knights from um, instantly. 
So as you can see, we've got the uh, armor upgrade coming in now as well. I then just realized it's the American spelling of armor. And in uh, English, the Queen's English, we have a lot of uh, U's <laughs> in our words. So there is a, a U with the O. Um, okay, so yeah, the next two villagers have come out, just going to make farms. And at this point, you might just want to keep adding uh, villagers to farms just so that you can constantly start making knights. So, as, as you can see, we've got plenty of knights on the way. Um, but yeah, you'll probably just need to keep adding uh, farmers in. And uh, you may find you need to add the odd lumberjack in. Um, you will need to get double bit axe at, at some point soon. You don't necessarily have to worry about horse collar just yet, but it would be a good idea to get it soon enough. Just keep adding those knights. Once you've got about six, you might want to start looking at going on the attack. And then should be uh, okay to just keep on uh, producing at that point. So we are starting to get a little bit short of resources there and there, so that's what I mean. Just got to keep adding the farms in. You may want to add an extra one to wood, you may want to add an extra one to gold if you need to. But generally you should be able to keep producing knights as you can see. I mean we have got one coming out of one and the next one's just started along. So it's not quite as consistent as it perhaps could be, but it's still doing the job. And as you can see, the knights coming in now, they've got uh, the attack upgrade and the armor upgrade. And they're just going in and doing some raiding now. Enemy's got quite a mixture of uh, units. But that is how you do the drush into knights. So uh, if you found this video useful, by all means subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of build orders on there as well as other AOE2 content. And uh, also hit me a like and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Cheers guys and I'll see you on the next one.